Today we are testing out a little bit of embroidery. I'm doing a small job for a company called Black Moose Outpost, and they do fly-in, hunting, fishing, adventure type of stuff. And their logo, for the most part, is not very complex. However, it does have some very thin American typewriter style text in it that when you take this logo and you shrink it down to the size to where it's gonna fit on a hat or the left chest of a shirt like we're gonna do today, embroidery could make this kinda hard to read and kinda sloppy looking because embroidery can only pack in so much detail. We are drawing with thread after all. They've sent this out to a few other places. They were not happy with the results. So they came to me and said, hey man, can you figure this out? And I was like, shit, I don't know, but I will try. Little Jimmy back there hasn't let me down yet, so I'm confident we're gonna be able to knock this out today. So my plan for this thing is to run standard 40 weight embroidery thread and 7511 needles for 90% of this thing. That's what we run here day to day for pretty much everything. But then when it comes down to the small text, we're gonna do what the machine thinks is a color change. But on that change, we're gonna have 60 weight thread and we're gonna change over to a 65 nine needle. 60 weight thread is much thinner, much lighter than the standard 40 weight embroidery thread. So it's made for doing finer detail stuff. And then the 65 nine needle is much smaller than the 7511. So it's gonna punch a smaller hole, keep the detail a little bit tighter. Now, I'm not an embroidery expert by any means. I just started this year, but I've been doing a lot of research. I've been talking to a lot of people. I feel like I'm on the right track with this theory. So I had the digitizer do two versions, one just with 40 weight all the way through and another one using this method. We're gonna put them both side by side, see what they look like. I'm obviously not gonna test this directly onto one of the shirts because that would be stupid. So I've layered up two pieces of heavy backing. I've also set the machine to 700 stitches per minute. Nice neutral spot, not too fast, not too slow. Let's see what each version of this thing looks like. that test because there is a very clear cut winner between these two. Starting off with the standard 40 weight version, this actually turned out a lot better than I would have expected it to. But still, when you look at the text, by my standards, this is very sloppy. I would not be happy with this if this was my stuff. Switching over to the 60 weight version, you can immediately see a huge jump up in detail and quality. And when we put the two side by side, it's a night and day difference, especially in the more technical letters like the K and the M. Everything is so much tighter, so much cleaner. This is definitely the way to go. I sent over a photo of this to the client. He signed off, he is stoked. So hell yes, job well done by little Jimmy. So now the nerve wracking part of putting this onto some moderately expensive shirts. So we're gonna be embroidering this on the Independent Trading Co. EXP 50 flannel, also known around here as the Canadian dinner jacket. The plan is to put it on the left chest and I'm aiming to have it centered and kind of half an inch to three quarters of an inch above the pocket because the pockets on these things are kind of high and I don't want to have the embroidery, you know, up here on their shoulder. So I've set up my hoop master in a way that when we clamp the mighty hoop together, we'll miss the button, we'll miss the flap, we'll miss the real big heavy seam so that we get a solid clamp on this thing. Everything will stay tight. We won't have any issues. I shouldn't have said that. I better not have just jinxed myself. <laughs> This thing came out super clean, way better than in that first test. And I nailed the placement on the first try. So it's really nice when that happens. So I'm gonna finish off the run and then let's check this thing out. The 
these things all came out super good. I am stoked. Ran into zero issues along the way. Everything tightened up a little bit compared to our test version, which always happens when I do a test on pure backing versus fabric. Fabric always embroiders better. We managed to keep all the detail and every single letter on every shirt is completely readable. And that's what we were going for. This job is wrapped up for me now, however, I do kind of want to see what this is going to look like on a hat. Even though this design was digitized for flats and typically you would want to have a file set up specifically for hats because everything there works a little bit different. But I have a few hundred spare hats in stock right now, so I don't really care if I kill one. I kind of want to just test this out and see if it works the same on a more difficult to embroider piece of clothing. If it doesn't work, whatever, don't really care. But if it does work, I can give it to the client as a gift and show them that we have some more options that we can do with this thing. So it's worth a try. <laughs> Holy shit, that looks awesome. I'm not mad at this at all. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised that it came out as good as it did considering that this file is not meant for hats. Just like the flat version, all that tiny lettering came out completely clean and crisp. A few spots in the design got a little bit wonky, but I think if I back down the speed on the machine a little bit, that would help. And now I know this will work for hats. So we can go back, do some tweaks to the file, make a version specifically for hats to clean up all that little stuff and then the client has a new merch option available. If you have a design with some tight detail, some small lettering, test out some 60 weight thread, man. It works. I've linked everything that I used here today in the description below. And if you use the code LS38 at checkout, you get a discount on this order, your next order, every order you ever make with RB Digital. So hell yes, thank you to them for hooking that up for us. Drop a thumbs up on this video if you learned something here today. If you already knew this, well, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. We're gonna bust out some 60 weight thread and some, let's I forget the fucking side. Oh, go away, battery warning. I don't need your bullshit right now. Fucking hair right on the lens, come on.